So do we, do I hope that music shows up or we just roll with it? Let's roll with it. And yeah. if music shows up, it's, a, it's an extra. Yeah. It's okay. a good thing. All right. Hi. Hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Guys With Issues. As always, I am your host. That sounds real commercial, yeah? It does. Yeah. See, we got, I guess we got we to gotta do more of these. I actually got, no, um, you don't have to do it. Like, we can just do it as if, like, you know. Oh, no. What I mean is um, we got to get that momentum going yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello. My name is James Monty. I'm uh, one of the co-hosts of the Guys With Issues. As always, I am with Russell Kialoha. Hello. I'm the other co-host. <laughs> Chee-hoo. Um, yeah. So we are... Um, podcasting on location. On location. Do we say the location? Is that yeah. okay? I mean, we're uh, not going to get sued yeah. or anything? Or... I can advertising for yeah. that. We are on location at IL High School. Studios. <laughs> yes, studios. Uh, outdoor studios. The outdoor studio. Yeah. The uh, No walls, no no ceiling. The first bench to the right, right after you yeah. get up the stairs. Yeah, right by the office, so just in case security starts looking around. They know exactly where <laughs> they don't have to go that far. See, when you make security guards work hard, that's when they kick you out. But they go, Hey, you guys are right there. I can see you guys. All right, nah, go ahead. Don't worry about it. But yeah, let, let's be honest. We actually look like the security guards here. That's true. That's true. Well, and we look like security guards that are not going to be chasing anybody <laughs> at all. No golf carts no. now. So, this is my stomping grounds. This is where I graduated. Uh, over there on the cafeteria, that wall. Building um, F, building F. See, we didn't know him as, as building F. We just know as cafeteria. That wall up there on the top, other um, the graffiti guys would always paint it. Um, paint it or graffiti? Graffiti. On it? Well, <laughs> actually, no. They'll do like some will do murals. Okay. Like overnight, they just show up right. and they. It's still not a mural. It's still graffiti. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. It's not tagging. I was thinking when you say graffiti, I was thinking tagging. But yeah, yeah. They were graffiti that wall. They'll stand on the on the um, the roof over there and then just start painting away. Um, Tagging is just a weird thing. I don't I don't see why. It's kind of like I think it's like a dog pissing in another t- dog's territory. Have you ever? Did you tag when you were in high school? I did not. I did. I did. You did? I did. But I mean, <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know why I did it. Looking what did you room. write? Huh? What is it? Like H dog? R R R dude? <laughs> <laughs> What was your tag? I don't even remember. I just remember. See, so for me, it just seemed whack. Because, um, like, like if, you, if you saw me, like, writing something on my Sharpie on the wall, you'd be like, bruh, that's whack. Because yeah. <laughs> well, over here, I mean, we have, um, at this school, um, the, the, the Crips that came to the school from Halava. So they tagged street names. I didn't have a street name because I didn't grow up over there. So I was like, James? Street names? Well, yeah, back in the days, you know, like, um, like um, I remember one one of my friends' name was Gadget. Oh, see, I thought you were talking like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Oh, no, he overpassed. <laughs> God, no, he's street. Come here, I'm in highway. <laughs> but technically they do because in the, the street they're from. But I, I meant their <laughs> gangster name. They're gangster. I guess. They're gangster. See, it was called street names back in the days, right? I guess, my but, you know, but I'm, I'm an old man now, so <laughs> I'm older than you. <laughs> but what I mean, okay, so they would tag their names, their gangster names. Gadget. Yeah, so for me, it was James, and that didn't sound hardcore at all. <laughs> James? <laughs> What's that you claiming, James? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> I just wanted to write my name on your wall. <laughs> Uh, go ahead and write it. We're not threatened by you at all, James. <laughs> not even J Dog. You no, know, see, I was always, I always didn't like that. I, I didn't like that. I didn't have a strong name. Like James, actually, is a biblical name. And the, the name in itself is strong. As for gangster, the, exactly, the, 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 exactly. Full street cred. No, <laughs> it's like James. Oh, that's that dude that no, no girl likes that. <laughs> He's just overweight, sitting in the corner, eating all the hot dogs. That James, <laughs> he ain't, I mean, he's no threat to us. Yeah, so I remember, and like maybe when airbrushing shirts came out. Yeah. So I didn't want to, and the guy was like, oh, "What do you want to write?" And I was like, oh, "My name sucks." So I was like, "Oh, Jamez." He said, "Well, you gotta have something." So I was like, 
And in DJing, I was always, uh, I always liked DJs. So, oh, okay, DJ, DJ. So, oh, D James. So, <laughs> <laughs> D James. I promised I had a, um, it wasn't a hoodie, it was like a sweatshirt with the long sleeves. Right. So this didn't make any sense in Hawaii if you're heavy yeah. because you're always sweating anyways. <laughs> So I hardly, I hardly wore it, but yeah, it was, it was um, airbrushed on my sweatshirt. D dash James. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so even less hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I bring, I made James even weaker. <laughs> what is the D? Because I like DJs. So that was like DJ. Even DJ James <laughs> would have been good. <laughs> I try to get creative. I think I was like nine or ten or something. Give me a break. <laughs> D James coming through the hood. <laughs> so D James didn't work out. But uh, are you wearing Kevriki pants? I couldn't because it didn't make my size. <laughs> I wish I did. So I had like regular pants, but then I would cuff it on the bottom. Yeah. You know they, the folding. Yeah. Cuff? Yep. The folding cuff. <laughs> So not hardcore at all. And then also, because I grew up in a neighborhood of mostly Asians. So I was like, why is my hair not like theirs? So my sister, I saw that she would do the blow dryer and hairspray. And it, it kind of like flattens it out. Right. So I had that going too. With my sweatshirt. D. James, <laughs> the sides was flattened out. Because we didn't fade back then. We didn't, we didn't shave or, you know, trim the sides in the back back then. It was just... You had a fro, but if you wanted your hair straight, you had to like put gel to slick it back. And then, because my hair would eventually curl up, I had to blow dry it so that it stayed stiff. All right. So, yeah. You don't want that so glow? <laughs> I was uh, more like trying to be like Pat Riley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pretender. The see? ghetto bird is above us. Yeah, see, we're in the hood. Yeah, it was. Um, it was um, rough, not necessarily rough, as in I was beat down and stuff, or, or um, hungry. It was rough that I didn't know what the hell I was. I was I, I, big time identity crisis. I was like, I didn't know some more until I got into the intermediate. Did um, you wanted to be so, Asian? I, I mean, with the hair, <laughs> with the hair, and then the um, and because most of them the. My friends and their moms in the neighborhood was all Asian, so it was like I was hanging out with those people. So right. I was trying to oh those people. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say those people. I was thinking about those with people. with those lovely families yeah. of different I mean, ethnicity. I can't imagine you uh, hanging out with them, just trying to speak the language. So for a long time, I um, people, I, you know, I thought I knew my name was James, but I thought like. Oh, I'll just go with James C. Because there's a Korean lady. I was James C. James C. <laughs> oh, James C. So James? I could have been D. James C. <laughs> <laughs> D. James C. Why don't you call you James C? That's the accent. Ah, oh, yeah. Like orange. Hi. Oh, what? no, that's the wrong. That's Japanese. Orange. Uh, other say yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yes <laughs> Yeah, so she's James C. James C. I was the only one that she liked because she hated all the other kids. Yeah, yeah, it was tripping. I would get cookies and where does I got fat? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she hated you, and that's why she wanted to plump you up. No kidding. She said you're gonna have a rough life. <laughs> you're I'm gonna, gonna be playing a long con. <laughs> <laughs> she's in her grave right now, laughing like, oh yeah, he was never skinny in high school. <laughs> Sit in that corner and eat your hot dogs, James. D. James C. <laughs> Gangsta wannabe. Speaking of hungry, the uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich has officially come to Hawaii. I see. I seen pictures of it, and I was thinking of getting it, but there was traffic. I'm always traffic affects me. <laughs> if there's traffic. I'm like, nah. I'll just I'll just go McDonald's. But uh, I mean, only certain Popeyes here. But oh, really? I didn't even know that. You know, the mainland has caused, like, fights and stuff. Oh, like, um, people, people will get mad when they run out and stuff, huh? Yeah, they get mad and they say they're lying. And I seen a picture of a, of a Popeye's where it has the, uh, 
a <laughs> bulletproof glass. Oh wait, in the uh, the window but, or no, the... the cash register. Holy cow! Like, and, then, and it was a caption like, "Oh, Papa thinks it's a bank now." <laughs> That's like in the post office, right? Yeah. In the mainland, because our post office don't have those glasses, but I know in the states they have those those thick glasses. I mean, that the chicken sandwich is so popular. I mean, and I had it. It's oh, you good. did? Yeah, yeah. I thought well, one of the pictures you saw was my picture. I thought you took it off the internet. No, that's, that's actually your sandwich. Yeah, that was my sandwich. The chicken size looks big. Dude, the chicken is huge. Uh, I think the chicken is huge. It's good. It's a good sandwich, but. I mean, I wouldn't want to. I don't want to kill somebody over it. <laughs> it's like you show up, you don't have it today. Okay, I'll just get something else. To yeah, have. I'll just get a eight piece. I don't get it. But yeah, because I've seen where they've have, they've they've had shootings. The shootings, people would try and like resell them right out the right out the gate. And I mean, there was a line. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't get it. My boss actually got it. Oh, so lucky. Props to my boss for going out there. And getting the, the chicken sandwich for us. Well, one, it's good, but <clears throat> I, I like I said, I ain't gonna kill somebody, beat somebody, or and well, two, you gotta pay a Hawaii tax on it. So Hawaii tax. Yeah, you know how it things are. It's three ninety nine in the mainland. Oh yeah, 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 in the yeah. mainland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's six bucks here. Oof. Yeah, you're so right. So you gotta pay an extra two dollars. It's like um, what's that other burger place? Uh, Five Guys. Right. Oh yeah. And, uh, it's, it's significantly more expensive here yeah, yeah. than it is, you know, in, in the mainland of California. That's good, though. I, w- I would try it again. I'm, I'm like, I ain't going to wait in line. But... So, like, if you were there, you would order that? Yes. Like, like, I, if I you probably... just happened to be there, would you You would order Yeah, it? if I was there and then the line wasn't crazy or I was in the drive-thru, I would order it. Oh. I, can, I, can, I mean, I want to try it. But I'll come across it when I come across it. Have, have you ate something that was so good that you're like obsessed and you always have to go eat? I I don't know about obsessed, but the thing that I always wanted and they closed down it that kind of frustrated me and Tyler uh, was um, uh, chicken and mushroom and garlic sauce uh, um, spaghetti. Um, chicken and mushroom. Yeah, and garlic sauce. Yeah, it's Where? um J P Serrato. They closed down. The, oh, okay. okay. But the only other place we can get it now is uh, JP Spaghetti, which is in Wahiwa. So oh. sometimes we'll make that drive over if we're really hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the thing that for me and her was. So that's what I used to eat even before she was born. So I used to go to that place, and the Seven Eleven is next door. So I'll get that, either a can of green tea, or a Slurpee, and um, Snickers ice cream bar. That was my almost like my routine, and then she loved it too. Maybe that's what she inherited from me, my taste buds or something. Mm. But that I wouldn't murder, but I, that's what I, I. I'm I'm a pasta guy. I love spaghetti. I wouldn't. I wouldn't murder. Yeah, I wouldn't murder. Hey, wait, is there something you would murder for? What would I murder for? Well, is there, is there a food? My... Is there a food that you would murder for? Okay. Food. Um. Not really, because I like, I think because I like a lot of foods. Yeah. If I like only one food, then maybe, like, man, I got to get that pasta, but this asshole's in the way. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have to kill this dude to get that pasta. I, th- I think that's what we learned as, like, a large fellows. Yeah. Large fellows is that there's other fish in the sea. There's, yes. other, there's other burgers to eat. Yes. Because, yeah. like, like, yeah, I mean, I like pasta, but I also like burgers. I also like pizza. Right. I also like so many things. I, I think I would, that, that was the problem growing up. Is that there's so much. See, it, we're it, imagine if we're picky. If we're picky, how skinny we would be. No kidding. Yeah. Like, oh, I only eat burgers from McDonald's on Dillingham. <laughs> I can't get there today, so I just won't eat. I won't eat at all. See, that makes sense because my daughter's skinny, and she's very picky. Yeah. Like, I'll go, I'm gonna go to um, Zippy's. And go, oh, I don't want anything. I was like gonna go there as a kid <laughs> yeah, yeah. anybody if my oh, parents are we're gonna go there oh i'll have yeah. and i'll run down the menu yeah. i'll have this wherever you go there's something i want something there. there man that's interesting and maybe it's because we grew up like i didn't grow up with a lot of money uh, so it was just kind of like you eat what you when you can you know oh yeah yeah, yeah. well plus you have siblings too same thing yeah. like me it's always 
oh, I better eat it before they eat it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get this motherfucker before you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to hate that when you go to school, and then thinking about that leftover in the fridge, and I'm gonna get you get home and I go, you didn't go to school, <laughs> and you go to the refrigerator, <laughs> you ate all the spaghetti. <laughs> well, I was home. I was like, I hate you. <laughs> Maybe that's when I'll murder for food. <laughs> <laughs> because I've been thinking about it since 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 before recess. And then um, going there, going home, and look, open that refrigerator, thinking, oh, the heavenly gates is opening. Wow. And seeing that it's disappeared, you just crush my dreams. I'm murdered for that. Especially if it's, like, something that your mom made <sighs> that your mom doesn't make often. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, my mom would always make lasagna. Oh, I forget oh not always. Lasagna. In fact, it wasn't always. It was very uh, specific. And, like, I feel like it was, like, special occasion when she... She was home um, a couple days in a row. And that takes a lot to make. Yeah, I mean, it takes, it takes a lot of lot. time. It takes yeah. a lot of time to make. So when she made it, and then, like, she made a lot. And then, you know, you eat some, put it away in the fridge, and then you go to school, and you come back, and you're thinking about it. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then, so one of them, you know, one of my siblings would beat me home. Oh. And you come home, and it's all up in the... It's all up in their mouth and like, fuck. Who murder you? For our house, it was my mom's peach pie. Mm. And it was um, like like that. It was occasional. Uh, like if we're having a lot of family over and then she's like, oh, I'll make it. You know, because it does take time. Because she made it in like like pans, not not regular pie circle pans. Yeah. It was in those big pans. So yeah, yeah. A lot for everybody. And you cut it in squares. Right, right, right. And um, so, like, if it's left at home, then we would have a lot. And then we, me and my, my, my siblings, we would always, you know, do our whatever we can to get some of it without it, you know, being known that somebody took. So, like, mine's was, I would cut it. So, the pan is rectangular. So, I would cut it a sliver, like, the, the width of maybe your finger, from one end of the pan all the way across to the other pan to have a long slice. <laughs> so yeah, they wouldn't know that I took, you know, some of it. Because if you cut a square out, you'll see that missing yeah, square. Yeah, yeah. So it's funny because they go, why is the pie getting smaller and smaller? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But that, oh, that was my favorite. My but uh, unfortunately, she's, because of uh, dementia, and she's very forgetful. She doesn't remember how to make it. So we're all like, we're all like kicking each other, me and my sisters. It's like, why didn't you write it down? Why didn't you write it down? I did write it down, but you threw it away. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> so now we have to guess. There's a missing ingredient because she made it one time. We're like, e. Something was missing. Something's missing. But damn. That, I, I would kill for that too. Because now that it's gone. I guess you too, lasagna. Yeah. I guess today we learned that some ways we're murderers <laughs> we will be a murderer for food for food yes, yes. somebody slap um slap my kid in the face and they'll be like ah, maybe she deserves somebody it somebody slap my kid in the face at lasagna oh, oh. after you eat somebody the lasagna gonna die. <laughs> like, wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> you're gonna die clown <laughs> man we figured out that we would kill for food yeah, we, we could have been skinny if we weren't so not picky. Yeah. So that's the secret. Parents, when you're raising your kids, is um, make them picky for food. No. Say, or, oh, or... Don't, don't eat that. That's garbage. Take this luxurious or yeah. gourmet. It's nine grain honey oat. <laughs> nine grain honey. <laughs> not, just, not just wheat bread. I didn't know there was nine grains. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know what grains are. I thought, I thought there were grains in bread, just wheat bread, but yeah. apparently only one. See, I thought I was doing good by eating wheat bread, and everybody comes out and goes, "Oh no, you need the nine grain honey oat," and it's yeah. like, "What?" Can then I they're just? Like, they're like, "Bread is what's making you fat." I know. It was like, "What?" Being lied to, all these years. All these years. I guess being lied to. Yo, let's talk about this one. I think. I didn't put it on the list to talk about, but 
Tour. Oh, that go so by law. sad. He, yeah, because he's a Hawaii's hero right now. Yeah. Next to uh, Cole McDonald, but. I don't, yeah. know. <laughs> I, know. I don't know that University of Hawaii quarterback situation. It's so weird. Start one quarterback, put another, and then win. Yeah. Start the other quarterback, struggle, put another one, win. It's like crazy. It was, I mean, it's working. It is. Might as well just have two quarterbacks. Right. But yeah, Tua, man, I feel for the dude. And because and he, man, I think mainly because he's such a good kid. Aside yeah. from him being, you know, our Hawaii guy. Yeah. He's a good kid. Well, yeah, give a background on actually what happened, so. So what ha- um, in the game again, and this is the the sick part. Uh, it's against uh, Mississippi. I mean, it was it Mississippi State, right? Uh, but they were they had a, a, a sizable lead. The game was under control. It was obvious that they're going to win. Right. And this is only in the first half. So then they actually started warming up the backup quarterback, and it's like, all right, let's let's get him, you know, prepare him to go in the game. Then it, Nick Saban was thinking, well, you know what, or uh, the staff. I don't want to put it all on one coach, but the staff was thinking, well, there's only like two minutes left. Let's just let him, let Tua finish. Mm-hmm. So, all right. And then he gets tackled. I think he, I know one guy was definitely on his back. I think the second one might have been on his back as well. As he was going down getting tackled, he landed on his knee and then it dislocated his hip. But it, when you dislocate your hip, it breaks a piece of it, the socket breaks off. So that's what he has, and that's pretty much uh, definitely season-ending. Yeah, well, he's out for the season. But how long that recovery is going to be, and if he can still take hits, that's going to be hard, especially because he runs. Mm-hmm. I mean, Bo Jackson's hip injury, not exactly the same because Bo's muscle just ripped his bone out, right? Mm-hmm. This, I think it's, it might be just like a, a bone break, and he, he's definitely going to need surgery to heal it. Uh, I think his surgery was today. Oh, wow, man, that's yeah. fast. Yeah. Bo Jackson's one. You know, it broke. his hip broke because he was running too hard. That's, a, that's a crazy. Yeah. He's, that's... His muscles are so strong, they broke his own bone. Yeah. <coughs> Bo Hulk. That's why they call him Bo. Bo Hulk? They call him a hog. Bo Hulk. Oh, Bo Hulk. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And now he hunts hogs with bows. Oh, with the bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah. But when he was growing up, they used to call him Bo Hulk. Oh, interesting. And now he hunts hogs with bows. <laughs> so they called him that before he started hunting? Yeah. Oh, so he became what they called him. Eventually. Lucky they didn't call him fat shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, have you seen him lately? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody has been. <laughs> uh, call him D. James C. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually growing on me. Yeah. yeah. You guys should bring it back. You can change it. Right, that would be my K-pop name. D. James C. D. James C. <laughs> Did you say, oh? Uh, uh, cookie desk? No, that's Japanese. I was going to Japanese. But yeah, I mean, um, Tua, man, it's, it's, I think for me, because I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a homer. I cheer for home because Hawaii's, you know, we don't get too many. We, we've been growing up that way. We don't get too many um, kids stars, from Hawaii. Stars yeah. that go. But actually, if you really think about it, we have a lot now. Now, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, kind of like we still have that feeling, like, oh, he's one of us. He's he's one of our island boys, and he's he's from here. But now we can actually be like, hey, we got one who win the Heisman Trophy. I mean, a couple win the Heisman. Wait, a couple. One, because Tua didn't win one yet. No. And now that's pretty much gonna be out the Mariano door. win it. Mariano won. It. So he was up first, and then um, we got champions like. Um, Suzuki won the World Series, helped to yeah. help the team to win, and then, Maga. And then when uh, Red Hat on everybody, and everybody's like, "What?" My Red Hat and <laughs> Trump groped his breast, <laughs> and everyone was like, "Okay." Trump probably thought it was an Asian woman. That's why he was like, "Oh, <laughs> grab him." Um, and then there's like, um, you know, you've had um, Manti Teo. We just looking at his. IG earlier, mm-hmm. you know, all these guys that are doing well that are from Hawaii. So it's like all these kids that... The kicker? Um, the kicker from Texans? Is Forbath? From, uh, Kaimi? Kaimi? Kaimi Forbath. I think, For, right? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Punahou? Yeah, Punahou graduate, and he's doing really good with the Texans. DeForest Buckner? DeForest Buckner from actually, from he's a St. Louis grad, but he's from Waianae, right? I think he's a Punahou. Did he go to Punahou or did he go to... 
St. Oh. Louis. I'm not sure then. He, he I, actually I, checked I, out for real. I assume. But I know he's from... Um, that is from Punahou. He's from... Um, but anyway, he's, he's, doing, he's doing a hell of a job this season. Yes. Uh, Saffron, yeah, but... I, you know, I, I'll be honest. I really wasn't a Tua fan. I, he supported the guy. Right. Because, you know, he, he's one of us. But he was never a big fan. But it, it's interesting to see how heartbroken the entire island is because of this. Oh, right, right, right. You know, right. I, I had a friend message me last night. Really weird. And he sent me the link uh, to ESPN for the, you know, about his injury. And then he... Just he, he said, uh, he said I can't I, I just can't I can't wrestle. I'm like, what? And in fact, you know what? I'm gonna try. And, it was because just, of that. Yeah, it was just like <clears throat> he was so upset about it. Wow. Uh, also, but, I found out that Forrest Buckner did go to Punahou School. You're correct, sir. Right, right. He said, you know, he's utilizing his God-given gifts to the fullest, and you know. He, he gets hurt. Hmm. And I guess he, the way he feels is that, you know, there's people that are not, they're just, I mean, the way he put it was, you know, there are people like me who are just mediocre. And that that's the kind of things we look up to, these people who are using their talents for something grander. Oh, to okay. see something like that happen to them, it's just like, it, it, uh, it hurts. It, it hurts for them as well. I, I mean, whether, he, not to be a prick or anything, but whether Tua does well or not, I still got to pay bills. I mean, yeah. So for me, I'm, what, is that, what is that? Pragmatic, is that the word? Yeah. So I was like, well, I mean, in, in that same way, it doesn't affect you the way it affects other people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you're like, oh, man, that, that sucks. It I does hope, suck. I hope he's good. I hope he's okay. Yeah. And that, that's how I felt, too. I was like, I hope he's okay. But there are, there are just people that are heartbroken in the islands, man. You know, it's like. Yeah. We need to go hug those people. It'll yeah. be all right. It'll I mean. Okay. Uh, but but I, I, I see I see the uh, the lack of, like, maybe empathy or timing. Like, on the Star <clears throat> Advertiser Day, I just seen their headline was, well, his, his injury will now affect his 2020 draft status. I'm like, oh, no shit. <laughs> but. You know, dude, just got hurt. I mean, you really, is that the last thing you really want to think about? See, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I agree with yes. that. They should have, um, because anytime he does something good, it's, oh, Hawaii's boy yeah. or Hawaii's star mm -hmm. and Hawaii this. And then when they get hurt, I mean, at least show them the love that, you know, he's jumping on the bandwagon and the person gets hurt and he's just like, oh, I guess he's done. Right. Instead of, oh, you know, um, our boy's hurt. Looking at you, star advertiser. I know. Calling you out. Yeah. Because we do, we do the media straight dope. Yeah. We don't candy coat. We don't candy coat this. But Tua, yeah, if anybody's fans listening, I know he ain't listening to this. But he well, should. He should. But he should. If he wants to represent us. Now, now I'm getting stupid. Yeah. The James C is stepping up over here. Hope he gets better. Yeah. I uh, hope. I hope he can. I mean, if he goes into the draft, he, he doesn't have to. No. Yeah. Well, the thing, yeah, because um, he has another year, right? He has another year. So the, I think that's probably what he, because he tweeted um, yesterday, you know, God has a plan. Right. And maybe that's the plan is saying, hey, don't go to the NFL yet. Yeah. It's not that time. One more year? No. And, and Drake then, wrote a song about that. Who? Drake. Wrote a song about not going to. No, about God having a plan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, hello. <laughs> but then I think a, a reason a lot of people are feeling, showing empathy and are affected by it is because I think they connected with it. That's the thing. He's, yeah. He's, 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 and then especially like Christians, I mean, they're, because every time is Jesus first. And I'm not talking trash about it, but I think that's what, where they connect with it is that, oh, because he's, you know, he's brave enough to step up and say, oh, you know, he loves Jesus. Right. Whereas a lot of people will be like, ah. I think, too, in Hawaii, we're still relatively a small community compared mm -hmm. to the rest of the world now. Yeah. So a win for a Hawaii person is like, kind of like a win for the island. So yeah. an L is the same way, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
a loss is a loss for everybody. So, yeah, yeah man. So big ups. I almost said David Tua. <laughs> <laughs> big ups to Tua Tango Milo. Hopefully you get better. And uh, if you guys want to comment on our on our um, Instagram page or our Facebook page, you guys can do so. See, that's the correct answer. That's the correct answer. So you guys can do so. Um, just look for us on um, Facebook uh, or Instagram under Guys With Issues. Just mm-hmm. search it, follow, um, share it so that other people can follow as well. Maybe we'll give you guys a shout out somewhere. Um, ah, sorry. No, it's you. back. You know, speaking of Hawaii news, I mean, there's some. I don't know if you guys know up in the mainland or even your locals that live up, or Hawaii locals that live up in the mainland now, transplants or whatever. They are trying to, and Hawaii loves this. This has been since forever. I grew up seeing flags on I cars. think more lately. Yeah, because, but then I think that's why they're, the, gov- the government is trying to shut it down because it's now political. Whereas before it was just, oh, that person's just repping Ho- that they're Hawaiian. No, let, let, let's not bury the lead. Yeah, so um, the state is trying to make it illegal for people to fly flags on their cars. Mainly... trying to make it illegal, or is it kind of already... Oh, yeah, because they're already writing tickets for it, so it has to be illegal. Like, it's a distraction. It's considered a distraction. Yeah. So they're they're actually... um, What do you call that? Um, Not executing, but... um, enforcing the law enforcing it now they're now pushing for for the police departments to ticket these people and have them take their flags down when they're flying their flags on their cars so in hawaii those of you that don't know in the states or around the world they like to fly f- full-size flags yeah not the, not the little yeah not the bit not the little picture, yeah <laughs> the little flag you put on like on your antenna with your with your jack antenna ball yeah not those little <laughs> flags Full size flags, and usually they fly on in the back of their pickup truck. Yeah, in the back of the pickup truck. So those in the in the south, you guys understand. You understand, yeah. but you don't get ticketed. For it. Yeah, so yeah. there's, I guess it, it it's seen as a distraction um, on the road. Also, they say like it could fly off and 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 then hit another car, and the car gets into an accident. I can see those points. So yes. I can see those points. <clears throat> so uh, legally, that's what they're going after. But this, they started to enforce it harder. Ever since, um, um, see, I don't know the proper name of the group. I know, I only know like Hawaiians. Uh, is it Kiai? Is that the Warriors? Yes, the Warriors, the protectors, the protectors of the Aina, mainly or recently Mauna Kea, mm-hmm. which um, is, um, uh, they're trying to build more um, or actually a huge Another telescope telescope mm-hmm. on Mauna Kea, and those of you that don't know, Hawaiians feel that. The land is alive. The land has a spirit. Everything has. It's it's those in the states. It's similar to Native Americans, where everything has a purpose. Everything has a life. It's a spirit. It's um, energy. So they want to protect that. They don't want to build. And what happens when they build these um, um, telescopes is that they they dig into the land. They put all these. They dredge up the land. They put all these because it's. There's going to be bathrooms and, and plumbing and, and right, right, electricity. Right. So there's going to be a lot of things going there, which affects the land. So there's that. And then there's also um, the North Shore of Oahu, where they're building wind farms. Yep. And Kalaloa, uh, Windmills. Right? Yep. So that, that uh, um, the warriors that are protecting that land are trying to protect. And they're saying that it's just too many already. And it, it doesn't even really help... Um, um, the, I guess the electricity, the power generator here, <clears> as much as they think it does, mm-hmm. it's also killing off some of the native bats, right, that are flying and get hit by the propellers. Right. <clears throat> so all this going on, <clears throat> it's getting. The, There's been like a, a renaissance or some, or some sort of renaissance. Uh, the renaissance of uh, cultural pride mm-hmm. uh, and, and support. So people are flying the, their Hawaiian flags more or upside down. Yep. So, um, and even some of them are, I guess some have them with the Mauna flag. Yep. 
the Hawaiian flag and then uh, was that the, the reggae Hawaiian flag? It, I think that's the one that they that they actually want as the flag, right? <clears throat> but then the state flag is the other one. The state flag. So the state flag, and then they have the the yellow, the one with the yellow green. Yeah. I, I, I don't see any evidence of how that one was, was actually an original flag of the Hawaiian. Oh, but I mean, that's just me. If you have evidence, you give it to me. Oh, I think that's what they want to be. Yeah, the flag. so they want it to be the yeah. flag, but it's actually based off, you know, the British flag, yeah. the uh, Hawaiian flag. You know, they fly it upside down. Yeah. You know, our our, our, our uh, culture is in distress. Yes. But that's what it means when you turn the flag upside yep. down. For those who don't know. And then it but, just seems weird that all of a sudden, why are you writing tickets now when you haven't, you, you didn't write it in the in the 80s, 90s, and coming right, right. All of a sudden this year, everybody's getting pulled over. See, it bothers people. Yeah, bird doesn't yeah, like bird. Bird doesn't want a windmill. Does it hurt? I, I, th- I, I think my cousin. I think it bothers people. I think I think they're enforcing it now because it's so much easier to bitch about stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think I think. <clears throat> when you think about the root, the root of it is like it nowadays. It is so much easier to bitch and complain. Yeah, about yeah, yeah. things. Now I, everybody has a voice on social media. Right, right, right. And uh, I think, I think everybody is get it's just they get so and everyone gets angry. Yeah, a lot quicker. And when you know when when their social media or they get angry, it gets. I feel like. You know that nagging girlfriend that always nags you to do shit or stuff? Sorry. And then you're just like, oh, okay, okay, I'll do it. Right, right. I'll get to it. I'll get to you it. You the trash. Why do you think of the trash? You should think of the trash. Okay, I'll take out the trash. I'm waiting for you to tie it all together. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> so there's, uh, there's that, and then there's... There's also the bad parts where some people are just jumping in just to jump in. All right. And it's like, well, how do you really feel about it? Right. Right. You know, because and then like one argument is, and not just, not just, not, so we don't want to be one sided either. So, like, um, Polynesians have always looked to the stars. Always. I mean, that's how we travel, that's how we navigate it. Right. So, that's where, like, so there's some people arguing for the telescope saying that. We should be um, building a telescope because we we look to the stars. That's our thing. And right. then there's and then there's other people who are like I said, just jumping in just because. Oh, you know, I'm pro Hawaiian, um, so I'm going to jump in just because. Right. I, you know, I want to mm. get in. Like, um, there's that one. Um, um, I want to say kid because he's young, but I, I know I think he's an adult, um, where he chained himself to one of the. The gates. Right, right, right. And then the police came, and then they, they, they cut the gate, they cut the lock, uh, the chain. They they escorted him out. And then he shows up, like, a couple of days later saying that they punched him or they tased him. Mm-hmm. or They were very mean. Luckily for the police officers, they were videotaping it. And they, say, they said, there's no evidence. And then he was on the kills on the news. And then the, the reporter, you could tell the reporter felt like he was lying. as like, can you show us the scars? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I don't feel comfortable. Right yeah, now. yeah. I was like, oh, come on, man. You got to show evidence. I think, yeah. If, if... Especially if something happened, you got to yeah, show the evidence. Happened. Then okay. it is the tough part. So th- that's a person who's from Hawaii, and um, he could be Hawaiian, that jumped in. They also got to think that, and, and this is where it gets tough. Because Hawaiians, although they're warriors, they always try to do it peacefully. Because on the other side, the people who are enforcing it, the poli- who actually has to do the work that the politicians are saying they got to do, are the police officers who are Hawaiian as well. So they try to be respectful, but they also got to do their job. And that's that's where it gets like really, really complicated. Because mm-hmm. they do go and show respect, but they have to do their job. So how like how are how are those guys affected? Where some might not even want to do it or don't do it. Mm-hmm. They just go up and hey, let's just let's, I can't do it. I can't. That's you know my 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 ohana and you know I, I can't do it. Right. So that's got to be tough. 
and I'm sure like some people on the Big Island, that's what it was like for them. Yeah. The, the police not for them. Yeah. That they just want to be respectful. Yeah. Um, I think there are some people on both sides. Mm-hmm. Dude, as long as a president, both sides. Then you gotta grab a that Asian man in the breast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they jump in, and you know just just do stuff. Yeah. Cause shenanigans for for both sides. Yeah. Whereas uh. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they'll never be able to work it out, but I don't think the whole lying about stuff will make things better, especially yeah. in, the, in this world where people got cameras on everything. Yep, yep. But I think we live in a world of hot takes. I think you're right. We, and that is just what, everything is just a series of hot takes without any sort of, let's stop, let's stop and discuss this. Get the thing straight before we start. Before we 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 dive in, yeah. we dive into it. Like, um, let's bring up Colin Kaepernick. Oh, yeah. he, he did his workout um, yeah. yesterday. Yeah, he did his workout yesterday. There's a there was a disagreement about his workout, the actual workout that the NFL was wanting to do mm-hmm. for him at the Atlanta facility, and why it didn't work out that way. You know, so a lot of the first off, like, you know, have you been kept? Have you kept up with this? No. Okay. So one of the well, first off, they they the NFL just randomly said, "All right, we'll do a workout for you, and we'll invite we'll invite all thirty two teams in the middle of the season." <laughs> and they said, "So I heard Kaepernick's people said, okay, well, can we do it on a Tuesday?'" Because if you look at it right after the game, mm-hmm. people have the day off. Then they, right, can, right. they can go ahead and be like, no, Saturday. <laughs> College football day, the day yeah. before the game. I said, okay. So this is all from news reports that, that were coming in. I said, okay, uh, well, we want to open it up to the media. So there's some transparency. NFL said no. And... You gotta, I, th- I really, I guess for me, I'm like, you really gotta ask yourself instead of saying, Oh, yeah, well, he's ungrateful. Uh, for the, you know, they gave him a tryout, they didn't, they, you know, oh, I see, I see, I see. You know, that, 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 that's what people take off from that, you know, they, yeah. like he's doing it again, yeah, he's doing it again. Uh, nobody really stops and thinks, Oh, why is this happening? You know, why is it, why are we having a, a workout? In the middle of the season, on a Saturday, mm-hmm. <laughs> in the afternoon, that a media that media cannot attend. You know? That is strange. It's like very strange, and nobody stopped. Everyone is just like he's ungrateful. He's ungrateful, but I mean, that is the world we live in, where people are just like that. That's the hat. That's what they want to put their hat on. Oh, he's ungrateful because of this, because of this. And people go on. Then they go back and say, oh, he's un-American because, oh, yeah. you know, because he, he, he hates the, you know, the soldiers that fought for this country. Even though there are, uh, there are a few that say those kind of things that have never fought right? <laughs> for the country or have tried to avoid it, fighting for the country. You know, it's funny because there's so many different um, angles. It's like so many different opinions. I mean, that's how it is, anyways. Opinions, right. are, you know, everybody's got them. So it's it's tough. I mean, it's like an asshole. Yeah, it stink. Everybody's got them. It stinks. At least one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, some might not have, but they they cut a hole somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, shoot. This whole Colin Kaepernick thing is just, is to me, and it's the same thing with, with what happened with the Cleveland Browns Pittsburgh Steelers game Monday night, where mm. um, Garrett, the defensive lineman, took <clears throat> off. Is it Rudolph? Yeah, Ru- Mason Rudolph. Rudolph's helmet, and used it to hit him in the head with it. Right. Um, and that guy's done, because to me, the NFL there's it's, it's such a small group of teams and there's so many people trying to get into those teams mm-hmm. so to me i was like kaepernick is done already there's other people already what 
there, there's quarterbacks struggling, but who, how can you not? The defenses are amazing nowadays. I mean, they disguise things so well. Who's to say Kaepernick is going to come back three years later? Is it three years? Something it's been, it's been three years. years. And then be the same as he was before. He might have passed his peak. He was never known for his passing. So if to me, like Tom Brady and Peyton Manning can go long because they sit in the pocket, they get rid of the ball quick, they read, they study, and that's how they survive. Um, Roethlisberger, same thing. Um, Breeze, because they're pocket passers. If you got to run, you're going to get hit. Look at Cam Newton. He's struggling now. And it, it, and look at um, Lamar, who's saying I he's a quarterback. And now that's where he's going to start to survive because he does the running, but he, he you know you got to know eventually that's gonna that's gonna start fading. Wow, well, he is the current MVP right now. Yeah, MVP. but he's still young too. <clears throat> right. So the same thing where where Kaepernick was young, he could do that, but now it's like you're a couple years old, and in the NFL one year older is. Is but, a big but, difference. But then again, who's to say he's not? I mean, what if he? What if he's the, because he's now he has fresher legs. True, true, true. Who's to say he can't do it? I mean, true, he can do it, or he. But you're only gonna find out if he gets if he gets a trout on the team. Or... To be honest, if <clears> I <throat> if I owned the team and my quarterback was struggling, and <clears throat> I had a chance to pick him up, I would. I would. Yeah. Uh, I think he deserves a shot. I do. I do. I, do. I mean, but if he's okay with uh, being part of a backup role for now, right? Yeah, starting quarterback, not not right away. Oh, for sure. I mean, that's that, um, uh, that's how he started at San Francisco. He was yeah. the backup. Yeah. Alex Smith got hurt, then he 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 jumped in. Yeah. But to say that he can't do it anymore, uh, I can't really say that. The funny thing is that like there's other the other angles where. Um, shucks, I forget his name. Where um, oh, frick, I forget his name, but he's he's dark black. Um, and he was dark he black. was saying that um, Marcellus no, Marcellus. I always want to Marcellus Wiley. Marcellus Wiley. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I always get it mixed up because Marcellus from. Um, Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction. <laughs> that's right. Marcellus Wallace? <laughs> yeah, see, Wallace Wiley, Wiley. see? Yeah, so that's what I was getting at. Marcellus Wiley was saying, you know, this thing that he's fighting for is something that's um, it's like almost like a t- like an attention grab because he, he um, Kaepernick didn't grow up the same way. And, mm. and this is Marcellus Wiley talking, and I'm paraphrasing, right? Right. Marcellus Wiley is dark black and from and struggled growing up from the Kaepernick did not. Right. So that, then you got people talking those angles as well. It's like, oh, why, why is he fighting for black people when he not really? Why not? Well, I just say, yeah. That's a, yeah. So but, I, I mean, you can say it that way. Why? But I mean, why, yeah. why can't he? Yeah. See, so that, that, to mean, me, it's like, he's just saying that basically from what I took, there was there was black kids getting killed, black men getting killed right. by by police department for um, acting out their fear against against the black man. Right. So that's why he took that. That's so that's why I said I will give him because that's the reason he was doing it. He was standing up for those people right. that got killed, but and he continues to. Yeah. Uh, so far, myself as Wiley, and he's saying like, um, I guess that's how he felt. It was like, yeah, but. That, that it was just you know I mean? him uh, trying to draw attention, but that's what is the, the what he's doing, trying to draw attention to what's the injustice that's happening. Well, that 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 was the whole point of yeah. kneeling was to show that to yeah. spotlight that. But some people they can't accept that, so they they want to make it about something else, right, 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 or make it about you know so no matter. That's, a, that's the weird thing about when somebody does something, everybody has their own thing. Yeah, it's 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 terrible to watch ESPN in the morning. There's chickens to eat my care. It's terrible to watch ESPN in the morning because you have all those um, shows like The Herd. And, yep. and, but everybody has an opinion. Yeah, and they're just going at it. And I'm like, man, this is too much. I mean, we, just, we, we've come to a point where even in society, it's like, no, no, nobody wants to hear the news. They want to hear 
either how they feel on the news or other people's opinion that they can get behind. Yeah. They want they want they don't want to think for themselves. Right, right, right. They want you tell me how I'm supposed to feel. Right. I like you, so I'm gonna go with what you say. Like one thing that and then we're getting um, close on time, but no, no, okay. one thing that bugs me on the when watching the news, uh, speci- specifically um, Hawaii News Now. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Rick Blangiardi does his his commentary. Oh, that thing during the commercial break? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, wait a minute. Because you're the manager of this thing, all of a sudden you get to put your opinion. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's only his opinion. It's yeah. not like, I was like, what happened to the news? Just tell me what happened. Yeah. And what I'll happened. think of how I feel about it. Yeah. Because it's already, the news already does where, oh, this horrible thing happened to these people here. So it's like they're already telling you how you're supposed to feel because they're saying this horrible thing or whatever it is, and they only show you what they want you to see. Right. They don't do all the news. So it's like you guys are already doing that. So why do you take this moment to come in and go, oh, yeah. So if you think about it, you know, the government, you know, but it's usually his, his, his stance is usually, it's, it, it's usually against what I feel about things. Right. So that's I maybe that, it could be partly that. But still, yeah, it's like, why are you taking up TV time to give your opinion? Nobody else can do that. But you're the manager of this thing. That's why. That's so, why. Yeah, so I got to listen to you. And the same thing with, like, um, um, is it the uh, KSSK um, Perry? Yeah. <clears throat> Michael W. Perry? Yeah, and then they're doing the news, and then he always gives his opinion. Yeah, he'll stop and yeah. give his opinion yeah, and so move on. I can see why, like, other stations, like, um, I say, like, Greg Hammer, it's comedy because he's trying to make you laugh he's trying to entertain right but then he does give his opinion but he also knows entertain right so like and then michael Perry is like he always gives his opinion and he he, he can just see him picture him rolling his eyes because he's all the size and, right, right, right. and that lady on there can't read the news for shit she I, i'm like i'm listening i'm, I'm taking my daughter's skin i listen i was like why does she keep messing up on these words she's I'm sure it's a paper that she's reading or a screen that she's reading. And yeah. then he jumps in and, wow. Oh, we're putting people on blast today, huh? I know. Yeah. So I want to um, add this last thing okay. before we cut off. Um, so I'm at Walmart okay. in a pharmacy. And um, I look to my right. And you know they have this, those window cases or locked cases? Right. And glass. Things that people, don't, they don't want you to steal. Okay. And I look over, I'm like, so I'm saying there's condoms in there. And then I see there's only one thing that can look like that. And I was like, it cannot be a vibrator. <laughs> this, is not, this is Walmart. Yeah. This is no way it can be a vibrator. Walmart has everything, man. No, they do. Because <laughs> I never thought that they would have vibrators. And there was, there was, so the thing that got me... It's not the regular shaped vibrator. It's the the one with is it rabbit ears or something? Rabbit ears? No, the... Yeah, so it's like two, like there's one long and yeah, then there's yeah, a short the, one. The small tickler. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I was looking, I was like, wow, that's a very specific thing to have. And I was like, because that, that shape, you only know it as that. Right, right. So I don't that... know anything else. There's no um, um, cookie dough mixer or. <laughs> Anything that looks like that. No video game oh, joystick. No, I mean, that's what it does. It, it mixes the, the cookie dough. <laughs> it stirs up the batter. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking, I was like, what the hell? And then I realized that there's an old man standing there looking at it. And I was like, are we both? Like, what the hell? Are we both in awe? Or, are we, or is one of us wanting to buy a purchase? <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was thinking. And then the, the person that works there comes up and opens the glass for him. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. Is he going to get one of those? <laughs> he talks to her and she's, she's, she doesn't grab any of it. Uh-huh. But she's like pointing with her hands. So she's not pointing with her fingers. So it's not specific what she's pointing at. Right, right. So she's got to like point at all of it. What do you, what do you think he asked her? No. Which one would you what? recommend? <laughs> So what is that? Because he looked like a really old guy. And I don't think those his days, you know, everything was manual. I'm sure. But I was like, holy crap. They're selling vibrators here. 
And then I went to their website. So if you guys go to walmart.com uh, or whatever it is, and you do a search for vibrators, it comes up and they're actually... It definitely does come up. Huh? <laughs> and it comes up at a discount, like very... The Walmart price? Yes. There's one for less than $9. <laughs> so I was saying, ladies, you know. Ladies. The, the, you can even oh. get them for, you know, a good clearance price, man. Can you imagine open box? I wonder if they do open box. It'd be like open five box. Bo- refurbished. Box. <laughs> Maybe that's what that old guy was looking yeah. for. You guys get open box used? I like smell. I wonder if they, they serve, I wonder if they have flashlights on Walmart. See, that's what, I was looking at the website. Because I didn't want to walk over to that glass case. Yeah, I just wanted it to be in your search history forever. <laughs> Hopefully nobody goes through it. But, <laughs> so if you, if you look, it's all female stuff. Okay. So I was like, wait a minute, Walmart. What about the men? You know, flashlight? I mean, right. What about for, I guess, they don't, they, that's not their market. They're appealing to the horny female. I mean, they were there. That is a demographic that would go to Walmart. The horny female. Hey, well played. <laughs> well played. Kudos to you, Walmart, for, see, that's what Walmart does. They find the need and they fill it. And they fill it. Yes. They roll back the prices or rolling back your eyes. <laughs> there you go, Walmart. You get my two thumbs up. <laughs> One in the pink. <laughs> One in the stink. <laughs> <laughs> so kudos to you, Walmart, that this week's uh, pick for awesome salesmanship. I guess uh, you, get, you get my... Uh, my few minutes of uh, spot. The JD right Powered and Associates. Yes. Oh, the James pick. <laughs> shopping pick for this week. The James C. The James Oh boy. Anyang ne kaseo. Vibrate. Vibrate. Not even Japanese. <laughs> I think Korean. Vibrate. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of clear, throat clearing stuff. And, but uh, we want to thank you guys for listening to the, the podcast. We love you guys as always. Um, follow us on Instagram, um, Twitter, yep. and um, Facebook. Leave us a message or even comment on one of our posts. And then she will give you a shout out because we love all of you. We do. Thank you guys so much. My name is James Mane. As always, I am with Russell Kealoha. Goodbye, everybody. Okay, Chad. Say, say your thing, Chad. Thank you for listening to the podcast. God bless you and good night.